Welcome back, everybody, for another episode of Mystery Monday. This week, we're going to be looking into the Black Dahlia. Elizabeth Short, at the age of 22, was killed. She was mutilated by her killer. She was mutilated by the press. And cover up a mystery to follow due to strong connection to mob ties, corrupt police, corrupt police work, and an unfortunate number of people wishing to take the credit. I have poured over all the information that I could, and it's my intention to give you the most accurate facts. But after nearly 75 years, it's still considered one of the worst crimes in U.S. history. There is a treasure trove of documents, books, even movies. I didn't watch any of the movies. So there's plenty out there if you're so inclined. I will say I decided that it was not necessary to put mm, the more horrific pictures on this video of the case. Even so, I'm going to give you a trigger warning due to the nature of the case. Elizabeth Short had a very unstable upbringing. Born on July 29, 1924 to Cleo and Phoebe Short in Hyde Park in Boston. She had four siblings. During this time, the family went through the stock market crash and in 1930, her father abandoned his car and the family was told that he had committed suicide. Elizabeth Short suffered with many ailments of the lungs, even to the point her mother would send her to Florida to stay with friends due to her health. In 1942, a letter of apology was written by Short's father, who had not committed suicide. He had started a new life in California. As the warm climate was best for her health, Elizabeth moved down to meet her dad at the age of 18. They did not get along, and she was kicked out of the house. The times being the time, she did what she could to get free meals and accommodations. There were some friends of distinction, but the press created her to be some kind of wanting creature of the night, and this does not pan out with those who knew her. Thought to be kind, attractive, and known as a tease, and unlike how they painted her in the papers, she wasn't a hooker or sleep with men for food, but she did have an active social life and get free meals and spend money on clothes and such to keep the men interested. But that's how a lot of the girls made it through very depressing, difficult times. She had a police photo due to being caught for underage drinking at the age of 18. She was said to be a wannabe actor, but no work or additions are known of. She was said to have made up stories to get sympathy for help and for money. She may or may not have been engaged to a man in the army, but she did have an affair with a married man, Robert Manley. It was also he who was the last person to have seen her, dropped her off at the Biltmore Hotel on the 9th of January. Patrons saw her there using the phone and some patrons from a bar close by said that she was there in the lounge. So now we're on January 9th when she was last seen and January 15th. So now we are on January 9th when she was last seen and January 15th when Short's body was found by a local woman out for a walk with her child in the morning of January 15th. She was thought to have died the night before, so she had been tortured for approximately five days. This is the part of the case that has been most difficult to research. The torture she must have experienced is truly the most horrific part of the case. The known facts? She was alive during the five days held captive and died approximately 10 hours before she was found. She had been held down with ties on her arms, neck, and legs. She had multiple lacerations on her face and neck and multiple blunt force traumas done to her head. It would have been kinder for them to strangle her and get it over with, but they didn't. They tortured her, and the cause of death was blood loss due to, la due to the lacerations on her face and shock from blows to the head that did not break bone. The indication being that she was given what they referred to as the Glasgow smile, in which the corners of the mouth are split. This was Elizabeth's fate, and there is strong evidence that she was also raped, but the body was cleaned extensively inside and out, no blood. It is thought leading up to and including her death was at a different location than where the body was found. The blood from the body had been removed. The only cruelty that we know she didn't endure was the cutting in half of her body that was done after she had passed away. 
There are theories and suspects, but no official conclusion other than the fact a 22-year-old girl lost her life and due to the torture, she became the infamous Black Dahlia. Grateful that as a spirit, this is a past life to her now. No pain, no worry. She is whole, back to her pure energy. And I'd like to pick up there. I'd like to look at the energies up to and including at the time of her death and see what we can pick up. Now, there really is so much more to the story. We could go into the fact that the person who killed her did send mail. It was done with special lettering from newspapers. And there's a number of suspects. But I thought, let's look at Elizabeth Short. Let's see what story she has to tell. And then we'll look at a couple of the top suspects that are still considered at this time. Let's see what we can learn from Elizabeth Short. What happened? What vibrations can we pick up before, during, and after her death? Okay. We've got the Ace of Pentacles. So this was definitely somebody connected to work, to money, to love. It was something that she wanted. The unfortunate part is that you see the cloud, so she did not realize this was not coming from a clear place. There's problems there, but there's money involved. Interesting. This is definitely somebody who's looking for attention and receiving attention. This can certainly be showing how because of the times and the desperation during the depression that she would have been offering herself for financial gain or for a meal but it's cloudy so when they said she was a tease and that she didn't put out that's definitely true this is somebody who was leading their life with their head and not their heart she really had to kind of look at finances and she got attention and she she used it but it created a lot of problems because she would have been considered a tease for sure this is definitely somebody that she knows this is not somebody who's unknown to her this is somebody that she would know this definitely looks like it's somebody that this definitely looks like somebody she would know but she did not realize the problems that were going to come her way. Hmm. Again, Ten of Cups. So this is definitely somebody that she knew of. Unconventional relationship. It's almost as though there was an offer for work or for something in relation to her security. Making things easier or better for her. This is something from the past. Again, definitely sensing that this is somebody who had already had um, a situation with her or knew of her. It was an unconventional relationship, one that she thought maybe was a possibility. So I think she went um, freely with this person, not thinking anything was going to be wrong. Mm-hmm. Ooh, judgment. Okay. We got judgment. So this sick person felt that they, that Elizabeth deserved this judgment. They felt, I believe, that they were giving her some kind of offer and she was like, no, thank you. And they weren't taking no for an answer. So they felt that it was within their place to do this for her. This was something judgmental on her. Definitely came as a shock and surprise to her. This was unexpected and set up to a certain extent 
to what extent I, I so Two, four, six, eight, 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 eight. So we have the Eight of Wands. Who, what, where, when, when. So an opportunity presented itself something happened in the heat of the moment and once it was set in motion there was no stopping it and that definitely shows that there was a change of location there might have been two changes of location you know it could have been she was molested abused in one space brought to a second location to be cleaned up and then the third location was actually where she was laid to rest because there's movement and change here a lot of change you know possibly that means there could have been help or a second person involved or two people involved together <sighs> The poor thing had to defend herself. Something awful. This again says there could have been somebody who was trying to help her that may or may not may or may not have gotten involved, but were trying to defend her. Okay. I'm just gonna say the story that's coming out of these cards at me because from my research sorry from my research I had never heard that she was pregnant or anything of that nature but these cards are telling a story of possibly she was in a family way she got pregnant in a family way she was happy about it, thinking that this would cause the stability in her life and she would get the family she wanted. She told the person that she was pregnant. And that's why the doctor and a second person could be involved. Opportunity came to get rid of it and they needed to get rid of the pregnancy. That was why. Oh, okay. I would love if anybody knows of any details that cause, I mean I did obviously didn't cover everything but these cards are telling me something and I even got cold shivers these cards are telling me something that I did not research and I wasn't expecting um I'm definitely sorry I, I still got the bad chest cold I'll cut that out <laughs> cut that out all right if for that's for full house fans <laughs> Oh, Lord. Okay. Um, yeah. These cards are singing a song of... She was possibly pregnant, thinking that this was going to be her security, her happiness. She told. He said no way and either killed her or got the doctor involved and killed her. It was a manner of timing being everything I really think she might have been pregnant and that's why he wanted to get rid of her there was no way he could do it and that's why the doctor was involved I really think there was two people involved all right so let's look into the doctor next so the next person we're going to look at is Dr. George Hordell now there's no birth date for him um, he was brought up on charges and was released from those charges of rape of his own daughter. He was, even at the time of the murder, a suspect to the point where the police put microphones in his house and he was heard to have said, supposing I did kill the Black Dahlia, they couldn't prove it now. They can't talk to my secretary anymore because she's dead. But let's check in and see 
what was his energies the days leading up to before during and after Elizabeth Short's death did he have anything to do with it what's his story oh my okay so we start off with the two of wands but he's holding the world close to him so this is a story a situation that he would hold close to him he's part of the plan he knows of this oh page of swords he did the cutting you know he may have been the doctor that did an abortion and then knew of a second person who actually did the full murder but he's part of it because with the page of swords it's like a spy so it's as though he knows about it. He was involved in it in some level, maybe as a doctor behind closed doors because abortion or anything of that nature would have never been acceptable. I mean, magician, the doctor. Yes, he definitely had something to do with Elizabeth Short. He knows of her. He knew of her. He was a physician to her. I'd be interested to see if there's any documentation at all. Ace of Swords. Surgery that did not go well. I'm trying not to give an opinion here, but these cards... something he did and it was shared with somebody I think the doctor was definitely involved I think he was a physician to Elizabeth Short I think he knows of Elizabeth Short how she died why she died he had something to do with it because this is the sharing of information he knows something But it's really weird because on the one hand, I'm seeing that he knows something. But then on the other hand, I'm seeing that he's a part of it. But there's something missing from the story, even from his cards. I really think that it's possible that she could have been pregnant and he was, or maybe not even that she was pregnant, but she had health issues and she did have health issues as a child. So she would have needed a doctor. So he was involved with her, had something to do with some kind of surgery with her. Interesting. Robert M. Manley, or Red as he was known. This was the last person to have seen Elizabeth Short. He dropped her off at the hotel. Manley had a solid alibi for the 14th and 15th. His wife had him committed to a mental institute in 1956 and he died in 1986 due to an accidental fall. So let's have a look and see what does Robert Red Manley know? What was his impressions of the days before, during and after the death of Elizabeth oh, Short? First card, I didn't even, it just popped right out. First card out, Ace of Wands. If I was going with the pregnancy theory, here's the papa. He was definitely a lover to her. He was definitely in a sexual romantic relationship with her. <gasps> He felt the loss, the sorrow, the regret. He knows more than what he's told. I, I, I can't go back and find out, you know, was there any holes in his alibis because there's something he knows that he's holding on to. The sun turned upside down, no baby. I'm telling you, I'm, I'm feeling this like, ooh, this really sad story coming together. 
So, yeah. I really think that he knew she was in a family way and set her up to see the doctor and and this is him wanting to return home. Now I know he was married, but I don't know if he was he mustn't have been married at the time while he was dating her. That must have been after the fact. This is definitely him walking away from her, the issues, the problems. Oh, justice. You know what? I'm really surprised by the way these cards have come out, but... I think that he had something to do with Elizabeth Short. I think the doctor was involved. I think possibly that he and Elizabeth were in a relationship. She got pregnant. He didn't want to have the baby. He set her up with the doctor and everything went crazy after that. That's why he has a good alibi because he really wasn't. He was leaving town. He didn't want anything to do with it. Justice is his end result. So I believe that the two of them were actually involved. Just to just to check and see. Is there a third person or a better candidate who is actually responsible for Elizabeth Short's death? Is there a third person? involved or a third person at fault no no the lovers reversed oh no there's no connection no connection no judgment made on a third person I think the two that we spoke of are the ones. So my friends, that's another Mystery Monday done. And if you have any suggestions or anybody that you'd like for me to cover, please feel free to put it down in the comments. And as always, I have our Unity Candle lit for each and every one of us. Until the next time we speak, cheerio. Thank you.